I am Anil Kumar and welcome to this series where we have set of challenge questions for our grade 10 students. And I hope my bright students like the Shikhan brothers may also find some of the questions interesting and challenging. The very first question here is, product of two consecutive odd numbers is 323. Find the numbers, right? So that is the question for you. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. When I am including some questions in this series, they necessarily are not difficult questions, but they involve more than one concept, right? Now here, what are consecutive odd numbers? Let us understand this term, consecutive, and then we have odd numbers, right? So when we say odd numbers, the odd numbers are like three, five, seven, and all, and consecutive are the ones which come together, like 3, 5, or 5, 7. So odd numbers coming together will be termed as consecutive odd numbers, right? Now we have the equation, or we have to write the equation for product of two consecutive odd numbers, and that should be equal to 323. How should we define a variable? That is the foremost question, right? Let's say, let the numbers B. Now what could be the numbers? So let us explore a bit so that you can appreciate why I selected what I selected. So if I select one number as X, then the other number should be how much? We are saying consecutive odd. That means I have to skip one, right? So I should write here as X plus 2, correct? That is how I can get consecutive odd numbers. If 1 is 3, then 3 plus 2 is 5. I think you got the idea. But now, what I will do here is, I will say let the numbers be, how about this, x minus 1 and x plus 1. Now, if I take x as a number, for example, if I take x as equals to 4, in that case, 4 minus 1 is 3 and 4 plus 1 is 5. I do get two consecutive odd numbers. Do you get the idea? Now, defining variable like this is tricky, smart, and helpful. You could go with x plus x2 also. But I'll show you, since you have learned factoring, how that helps to solve this question. And that is one reason why I have taken this question now, once again, before you, right? I do have similar question in the list of my videos, right? I'll give you a link for that. Okay. So what I say here is that let the numbers be x minus 1 and x plus 1. So they are two numbers which skip 1 is included. So they are either odd or even. But now my equation will be product of two consecutive odd numbers is 323. So when I multiply them, that means if I do x minus 1 times x plus 1, I should get 323. That is the equation. Is translates to equal to, right? So product of these two is 323. That is how you form an equation, correct? So that is kind of review of the equations which, le which we learned so far. Now let's apply our factoring and multiplying techniques of polynomials. So when you multiply sum and difference, what do you get? you will get x square minus 1, perfect, equals to 323. Some of you who have not done this kind of factoring or multiplication of polynomials can apply the distributive property, right? And then they will also get the same equation, x square minus 1 equals to 323. Now I can add 1 on both the sides, so I get x square equals to 323 plus 1, or I get x equals to square root of 324, right? Now, whenever you do square root, you should do plus and minus. Okay? So, when you do plus and minus, you expect two answers for x. Let us do square root of 324. So, square root of 324 is equal to 18. So, what we get here is plus and minus 18. Correct? And therefore, what should be our numbers? Well, if x is equals to 18 plus, let us say x equals to 18, we are taking plus or x could be minus 18, right? We could have added here 
product of two consecutive odd instead of numbers we could say integers also right that was a better term so that it gives you a clear idea that we should also consider the negative numbers right so I hope that is helpful okay so we have two possibilities x could be plus 18 or x could be minus 18 if it is plus 18 then my numbers are x1 equals to 18 minus 1 which is 17 and the other number is 18 plus 1 which is 19 here the numbers will be x1 will be minus 18 minus 1 which is minus 19 and x2 will be minus 18 plus 1 which will be minus 17. Remember, if you multiply two negative numbers, you do get a positive number, correct? So these are combinations of our answer. So we can write down our answer is that there are two possibilities. The numbers could be 17, 19 or minus 17, minus 19. I hope with this example, you could review a few concepts. One, how to define your variables, correct? How to write equation and the factoring techniques which you learned, kind of reverse of factoring and how to solve a quadratic equation. Remember, whenever you do square root, you should always do plus and minus and write all possible solutions. Let's move forward with this knowledge. Thank you and I hope it is even now a learning experience as you leave grade 10 and move on to grade 11. Thank you and all the best.